there, kiddos. How are you doing? Welcome to Sandy's Odds and Bobs. Now, today we have a new project we're going to be working on. We're going to be working with an altered book. Well, kind of altered. We're actually going to rip its guts out and use just the cover. So what I'm talking about is something like this. Now, do you have one of these at home? One of these old college books that you haven't used in years and then you decide, well, you know, why am I even keeping this? Who's going to want this? Well, <laughs> what you can do with it is you can make it into a journal. And today we're going to make this into a baby journal. So the first thing you want to do is when you, get, you have to decide what kind of book you want to start with. Now, my recommendations are that you get a book that has this kind of a spine. As you can see, this is an old book. It's, it's well, well worn. And you want to have this kind of a spine. In it. This is a cloth spine. And what you don't want is a glued in spine. Uh, if you're going to use a book cover for a journal, you definitely don't want a glued in spine because there's not going to be any spine left when you get done with it. So you look for these things, these cute little patterned pieces of cloth there. That's a good indicator that you're going to be able to take this whole thing out and be able to use just the cover. So let's get started with this. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take off this plastic thing and we're going to need our handy dandy X-Acto knife. Now with your X-Acto knives you want to make sure that you keep the safety cap on. You know, snap your caps. Because you never know, if you're poking around in your tools, you'll end up sticking yourself. You don't want that to happen. So we're not going to be too gentle with this little guy. Because he's going to be beautiful in the end. But right now, we've got to make him beautiful. So we're going to cut that cover off. Uh, we're going to have to take that tape off, too. Okay, we're going to cut this side off. And that side off. Boom. And I don't know if we'll even use this. Maybe we'll find some use for it maybe later. Okay, so that leaves us with, uh, what's this? Ooh, shiny, shiny. Oh, you know what that would be good for? Steampunk, steampunk journal. Ooh, I'm going to stick that in my steampunk journal stash. Cool. Okay, so... <laughs> That's unusual. Never seen a book like that before. <laughs> and this, I used it and I never noticed it. Okay, so let's see. The first thing we're going to do is let's get the sticky tape off of it as much as we can. It's still gooey. That's all going to be covered up though, so not to worry. But we don't need any extra bulk there. Okay. And we're going to start working with it. You notice that it's got this fiber thing? Yeah, you hear that? So, you want to be able to cut right through that fiber. And look how easy that pops off. Yeah, I'm loving it. Okay, so we're going to go the same over here. This is it. Let's see if we can turn this down here. Take this page off. There's the fiber. There's the fiber. Sometimes it's a tug and a pull. Can you get to it? <laughs> and we got to it. And voila! This is called gutting a book. We took the guts out of it. Okay, now all this is good, good paper that we can use for a lot of other things for book page paper. Nice small text. A lot of boring information. Believe me. I know. I had to read that thing. Okay, so now here's our basic book cover. Ta da! So now what we want to do is decide what we're going to cover it with. We could cover it with paper, but paper tends to crack in these corners here, like this. So we're going to actually cover it with cloth. But before we cover it with cloth, We've got to get in here and figure out where the edges of that cardboard is. Yeah. Get that all tidied up. Get 
it doesn't matter if it tears because it's all going to be good. Now, what I like to do when I have my, my cover like this is to support the spine. It's actually going to be wider now than it was originally because we're going to make it a little wider. Let's see. And we're going to support the spine by putting an insert in here that is um, matte board. Now I have a lot of leftover matte board from back in the day when I did framing. So what you want to do is you want to cut a piece of matte board that is just barely below the top and barely above the bottom. You don't want it sticking out, but you don't want it too short either. You want to be able to close it, have plenty of room, so don't make it so wide that it will touch each side of the this card because there's heavy card here and there's a little bit of space and then there's going to be heavy card over here and you have a little bit of space so you just want like hmm, here here space and your test will be when you can put it in there boop, 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 and you can close it up and you're thinking hmm that looks pretty good and i like to use matte board versus anything else because it's just thicker and stronger and it's easy. Okay, so that's how wide our, our little journal is going to be. Little baby journal. Okay, that's looking good. Okay, so I'm thinking... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue this down. And you could glue it with tacky glue. Fabric tack. Or you could glue it with tacky glue. I'm going to glue it with tacky glue. And you'll notice that my tacky glue bottle doesn't say tacky glue, it actually says salon care. And that the reason is, is that uh, I wanted a really tiny nozzle at the time. And so uh, my daughter-in-law and I went to a salon shop, and I noticed this on the shelf. And I says, hmm, I think I can use that. Okay. So, uh, got it, and it works out perfectly. You'll notice mine's a little grungy, and that's, that's natural because, you know, it's a working bottle. You get glue on your fingers, you put glue on the bottle, and the bottle gets dirty, and that's that. So, there you go. It just tends to happen that way. So, I'm going to juice this up really good. Get some really good glue on there. Squeezy, 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 maybe with both hands. Okay. Coming out, coming out, coming out, coming out. And I'm not going to bother to smooth this down. Because it is going to smooth down on its own. Looking good, looking good. Snap the cap. All right, I'm going to put this right in here. Spacing. Push down, push down, push down, push down. All right, that is looking good. Give that a second. Now, while we're waiting for that to dry, grab real quick. We're going to pick out the fabric. Now, I've already picked out the fabric to save you a little time. And my daughter-in-law gave me this beautiful piece of fabric, and I'm thinking for a little baby girl journal, which this is what this is going to be. This is going to look how perfect. How perfect is that? Okay, so what we're going to do with that is we're going to lay out our fabric. It doesn't matter if it's got wrinkles in it because it won't have by the time we get done with it. So I'm going to put this out. Get all stringy strings off. Hmm. Let's see. Looking good. And you want at least an inch. It looks like I have more than an inch on here, but that's okay. At least an inch. Because what we're going to do is we're going to do that. Okay. So that's looking good. And we're going to get some of the bulk off of here by trimming up the corners a wee bit. I might, I might take this down a wee bit, just a little. I'm thinking maybe that's too much. 
Hmm, I think I will. I think I will take it down. Give it a little snip over here. Snip and a rip. Snip and a rip. Woo! Nice sound. <laughs> Okay, snip and rip. Does anybody else out there like the sound of ripping cloth? <laughs> it's just so nice. Rip, rip, rip. Okay, we're going to take this down a wee bit notch. Let's take that there. Oh, yeah. This part about sewing, you get to rip the material. Okay, looking good, looking good. Much better now. I like that much better. That was a bit too much. So we got it now. Now we can snip off the corners. Now when you go to cut your corners, you want to make sure that you don't cut too close because it's just like folding paper. You want to make sure that uh, a little bit covers, but you don't want a whole lot. So we're just to get the bulk out of there, we're going to snip off the corners about, I'd say, at least a half an inch from the edge. Snip, snip, snip. Snip, snip, snip. It doesn't have to be perfect. No, this is a junk journal. Nothing's perfect in a junk journal. Okay, so that's going to give us some material there, and then it'll give us some overlapping here. Yeah, that is perfect. Okay, now, what I like to do is just keep my book flat on the material. Then, I will glue it a little bit by little bit. Because now you can put glue all over this and then lay it down. And you just don't put reams and reams of glue on it. What you're going to do is you're going to smooth this glue out. This is important that you don't have gobs of glue here. So we're going to use our, we think we should use our fabric tack, but nope. Because tacky glue will glue fabric too. And the fabric tack just doesn't seem to smooth out as smooth as tacky glue does. And you see, you just use your finger, smooth it out. Yeah, you're going to get dirty. Yeah, where you have working hands, that's the way it goes. Okay, that's going to work good there. And while we're at it, let's do the same over here. A little big lump up there. That's not a big problem. And, okay, because I probably should have gotten a wider nozzled glue bottle. We're going to do a double hand squeeze. Right up and down and around and around. And you can have a little fun with this. A little bit there. Okay. Let's see how that looks. Okay. Now you do want to have a thorough, even layer. So if you feel a little, need to put a little more on, that's good. Get it up in that ridge. All the way to the edge. Yeah, that's looking good. Ooh, all the way to this edge. And this actually has a cloth cover on it too, which <laughs> I never bothered to look <laughs> after all these years. Yeah, it was a boring class anyway. But you know, you got to do what you got to do to get your degree. That's what you got to do. Boring or not boring. At least the teacher was interesting. Okay. So, let's lay this over. We got it back where we want. Press down, press down, press down, press down. And guess what? We're going to flip this one over. Ooh, that flipped over nice. Mm, good. Okay. And again. da 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 we could spell things. We could make designs. You know, enjoy your glue. You know, it's a tool if you can't enjoy using it. Enjoy your glue. And it's sort of an abstract process sort of thing. Yeah. Looking good. Looking good. 
It's a little thing over here. Maybe a little dog there. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Dots for contrast. Yay! Okay, so here we go. And we're gonna rub, 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 rub. The neat thing about being an artist is you don't mind using your fingers. Fingers are good. They come in handy. Oops. Don't want to move it. I think I'm a little thin on the bottom side. Put some more glue on there. Glue with the glue. <laughs> Oh, this part I like. <laughs> okay. Gotta have your fun, right? Fun is where you find it. Seriously. I mean, even the most boring things, like this class was, could be fun. Luckily, I had an instructor that made it very fun. She was funny. I wonder where she is now. Poor thing. She's probably in an old folks home by now. Poor thing. She was funny. I bet she's making everybody there laugh. <laughs> oh, memories. That was fun. But you know, universities, they have requirements for reading that they consider necessary for a well-rounded education. So there it is. And it worked out good. I had some good references, got good grades on my papers, so it's all good. All right, sticky fingers. Rub, rub, rub. Okay, so now we have that down. Let's see what it's looking like on this side. Oh, wrinkly, but that's okay, because it's gonna get non-wrinkly here in a minute. Okay, so now we're gonna start with our corners, and we're gonna bring our corners, pull just a little bit, not too much. But we're going to bring our corners, <coughs> excuse me, and glue them down. Come on, glue. You need to refill you. Okay, we're starting the corners. And glue that down. You don't want to pull it so tight that it's going to poke through the, to the edge of the material. But we're just going to give it some, yeah, there we go. There's one. And. This material takes glue well. I like it. Okay, but not all materials. And this uh, apparently is uh, must have a high co cotton content because cotton will take glue very well. I'm not really sure. I didn't ask my daughter-in-law what the fabric versus polyester cotton versus polyester content was. This was most likely from a piece of clothing that she made for her daughter years ago. Her daughter's in high school now, so oh no. <laughs> I can't believe they're that old. Oh my gosh, where did the time go? Boy, okay. Not grandma squalling. Okay, here we go. Gonna put some generous glue here. Generous, generous, generous. Maybe a little generous glue there. Maybe a little generous glue there. Let's see how that goes. And start in the middle. And I didn't put it down far enough, looks like. So we're going to have to put some more glue down here. It's okay if it goes beyond the edge of the material. You want it at least to go there. Do you need to smooth it? Nah, yeah, I should have smoothed it a little bit. Okay. It's going to get gluey. It's going to get gluey. And what you're doing is you're pulling it down. Okay, see how that material is moving a little bit. Pulling it down to sort of get that nice tightness there. See, and we'll cover all this up with paper. You can do the inside paper. The outside is better with fabric. Okay, so let's see. 
maybe up a little bit so we can look down here. Okay, do a double ham squeeze. Smooth that out just a little bit. Okay, gooey, gooey, gooey. Yeah, you don't want that. Goo gobs. Okay, and start with the center. Nice. Good firm pull, but not so much that it's going to cause a problem. Let's see how we're doing here. Not too much. Okay. Okay, so let's let's glue these little bits down here. Not a little maybe naughty. As you can get without moving it all. <laughs> okay. The neat thing about fabric, it's very forgiving. You can usually get the wrinkles out fairly easy. Let's see how it's doing. The glue is still drying, that's why it's a little bit on the bumpy side. Is that glue? <laughs> oh, I think that's going to look nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. tight side there. That's okay. It will move. It will move. This side, no problems. I see. Yeah, that would be no problems. So what had happened is I've got it a little too far over, so it's a little tight here, and it's just right there. So there again, make sure that you got plenty of room on both sides. Unfortunately, I did not catch that in time, so we're going to live with it. So now we're going to work on our sides. Let's glue the little corner things down here first. Dribble, dribbles. Okay. And let's get some glue down. It would help. Put some glue there so we don't have some to stick to. Sticky, sticky, double hand squeeze. Okay, here we go. And there we go. Okay, start in the middle. Make your way to the corners. You see this, and it looks like, oh no, look, you made a mistake. No, but that's all going to get covered up with paper, so who cares? See there, it overlapped there. It didn't reach enough, but that's okay. It's it's all gonna work out. This is all gonna get covered up. Looking good, looking good. I like how those corners are kind of rounded now. <laughs> they weren't in the beginning. They are now. Nice. That's gonna be a nice cover. Okay, so let's do the other side. And that keeps moving on me. Okay, so let's 
This works great for fine lines. <laughs> You just need a gob. Little, little hand squeeze it is. Okay, here we go. Let's move that out. Down to the center first. There we go. <laughs> Let's bring that in a little bit more, just a little. It was not in far enough. Yep, that's going to be a nice corner. Okay, we need a little more glue over here, obviously. There we go. There it is. Dum -dum 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 -dum. All right. And voila, we have our cover. Da, 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 da. Okay, so Let's see how it's going to work without the strings. I might be able to pull them off. I might have to cut them off. We can be kind to some things, can't we? Looking good, looking good. Folding nicely. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, and there's our cover. Ooh, so creepy, so creepy. Okay. Doesn't matter, it's got wrinkles because it's still drying. I'll just rub that in. And this fabric, you can sound of fabric. Okay. Looking good. That's going to be a cute little baby girl journal. Yeah, yes. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to do our insert papers. Let's see. You better decide what kind of insert papers you want to use. I have some here. Let's see. I think I need them. Interesting. Okay, insert papers. Here we go. You right here. Okay. And I don't see my insert papers. Hang in there a minute. Let me have a look. See? Really? Really? Oh my goodness. Excuse me a minute. I think I left my insert papers on another table. One second. As Gail says, Talk amongst yourselves. Okay. There you were. Okay. Thank you so much for being patient. Yes, I had picked out some papers that I wanted. Now, I choose cardstock to go in here. You could choose another piece of fabric if you want. You could choose a thinner paper. I wouldn't suggest a thinner paper, though. I like cardstock because it's thicker and it will cover a multitude of sins. So uh, there we go. And what you're going to do is you're going to measure it. Oh, I didn't know it's still right here. Okay, you're going to measure it at least a quarter of an inch from each edge. So with that, you're going to make a little mark where you want it. And you're going to cut it. Now, I use two 12 by 12s. And when I'll make the mark on the one piece, then I will take them to my cutter, my guillotine, and I will cut both of them the same size. So, and you say, well, oh my goodness, it doesn't, doesn't cover everything. It's not going to. It's going to cover this side, and then that's going to cover that side. 
but we're not going to have all this flopping around. So what I do next is I figure out where where my middle is, where my crease is right there, because we're going to actually have two layers overlapping right here. We're going to have one this side, and we're going to have one this side. So we're going to figure out where our crease is, get our handy dandy pencil again, mark it about so, and take it to our cutie and cut it. there and we don't want to cover up that whole that whole corner there we want to be able to give it a little working room same thing for that okay because it's gonna it's gonna have to be creased there anyway but when I overlap them this gives more strength to the back spine but I like to overlap them so that the top front of the book piece will overlap the back. Um, just pick it up. Okay, so I'm thinking that looks pretty good. Yeah. So we're going to pink our edges. Okay, so I have this handy dandy inker and I'm going to just go around all the edges see what kind is it it's studio G uh, I think my daughter-in-law is the one that gave me this one because I don't remember this this might be from Michaels maybe not sure but uh, yeah she used to work at Michaels as did I at one point now we both moved on she has a beautiful job now Enjoying it very much. I have a beautiful job now. Being tired. <laughs> okay, so there we go. There's that. I like it. Okay, so there we go. Doing a flick, 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 flick. And we're not going to bother flicking the back because nobody's going to see the back. I don't know. Okay, so now we are going to glue down the back first. Again, our tacky glue. Want to make sure we got that edge showing. Let's get that over there. It's not overlapping that. Okay. Yeah, that works. So there we go. Blue, 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 blue. And again, we are going to smooth this all out. to the edge. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh, there's a reason why I got that fine tip. To glue everywhere. Glue. All right, yeah, that's looking good. 
Okay, and again, using my finger tool. Good thing we always carry these with us. Oops, a little too close to the edge. Open up. Happy with that coverage. Got some more glue. I'm just about ready to snip this tip to get more glue out. better. Yeah, much better. Okay, and again, glue, glue, glue. For another glue bottle. It's like, ah, where did it go? I don't know. It happens in the throes of creativity. Things do get misplaced. Okay, so we're going to lay that down. That's looking good. Right. Pressy, 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 pressy. And find my bone folder. But since I can't, you use what you got. I'm going to use the edge of these scissors out. That's pulling up there because it's not dry yet. I'm very gently running this along. I'm not putting any pressure on it because I don't want to break the paper. I just want to bend the paper. Train the paper and the way it will go. And when it grows up, it will be good. Okay, that's looking good. Yeah, just need this to dry. It's going to take a few minutes. That's looking good. Da, 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 da. That's the way we want to go. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Okay, so while you're drying, we're going to work on your buddy over here. Again, you don't want it to get into that crack. Just right up against it, but not into it. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. That's going to work fine. Move it to the side. Start glowing. Come on now. Come on now. You know you want to come out. And we are going to glue all the way to this edge. Glue all the way around. All the way around. Yeah. All the way down here. All the way here. And now we're going to get all swirly. Getting all swirly up in here. Yeah. Swirly, 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 swirly. Oh, come on. Blue, can you see that? It's like, oh. It's so fine. It does exactly what I bought it to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. I really just want to put a big dollop of glue on there and be done with it. Yep. So if you have a bottle that's got a bigger nozzle on it, you go ahead and use it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Well, let's give that a squirrel and see how that does. Oh, man, that wears your fingers out. Okay. Neat about this edge. Not too much glue squirting out. And I definitely need more glue there. And I'll need more glue here. Yep. Let's 
first layer of glue. We're going to be doing some more glue. Patience is wearing thin. <laughs> I'm really wanting to put some gobs of glue on there. Thinking about taking a gap off. Like, oh my god! Come out, come out! Uh, here we go. Come on, you can do it. I'm just going to see what happens. Drip, drip. I mean, you got to do a hard job. Make it fun. See what it can do. Draw with it. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Give me some over here. Come on, come on. Ah, my hands are shaking. I'm pushing so hard. Okay, see that nice fine line of glue? This is this is what I bought it for. It's doing exactly what I meant it to do. <laughs> the only thing is this is probably the wrong bottle of glue to start this project with. That's okay. That's okay. We make it work because that's the way we are. We haven't got the tools we need. We use what we got and we make it work. Oh yeah. Oh, let's go again. Here we go. And we still need more glue because that glue is starting to dry us up in there. Glue. I'm just gonna hold you upside down so you'll be ready to go because we're going for a third one. Yes, we are. Sufficient glue all the way to the edges. Actually, I think that is going to be all right. But we're going to, just for goodness sake, we'll do some more around the edges. Because the last thing I want is this thing peeling up. Do not want to do peeling. You know, once you do a project, you just don't want to have to go back and repair it. It's like, ugh. What is the use? Why didn't I do it right the first time? Okay. Let's see how this is doing. Oh yeah, that's much better. Happy, happy with that. There you go. Finally. Yeah, it feels good. Like it should. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. All right. So. Now, after all that, <laughs> struggle, 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 struggle. Now we get our fingers all cleaned up. Sort of, kind of, in a way. And push that back a little there. Carefully, carefully. Lay it down. Want to match up the edges. Make sure that it's right in there, but not beyond that. Pressy press. Now I got too much glue, right? <laughs> That's okay. A little dry. Side of my hand. Set down nice and smooth. Edges nice and smooth. Ooh, looking good. I like that. Now, <laughs> here again, let's use our scissors. Or if you have a bone folder, that will work too. I'm just barely raising it. You know, so it's bulking up here. No glue. It's because it hasn't gripped yet. See my fingernails? It hasn't gripped yet. It's starting to absorb. You can tell it's starting to absorb into the paper because it will start bubbling, buckling, bubbling, bubbling, and bucking. But that's okay because it will. It will dry. Ugh. <laughs> glue, glue everywhere. It will dry flat. And if it doesn't dry flat, no problem because we're going to be putting pockets on these sides anyway. So, you yeah. know. And again, it is a junk journal. To 
this needs to dry. Okay, so what we do here, make sure we get those corners there. Guess we need to pull up there. dry yet. It's trying to dry through that material. I don't put hardly any pressure on here. I'm just stretching the fibers because believe it or not, paper can stretch. Yes, it is made of fibers. And the fibers will pull apart if you're gentle enough with them. They will stretch. Sometimes that's a good thing, sometimes that's not such a good thing. Oh yeah. Woo! La da la da da da. You notice that a lot of the wrinkles are gone now. They're still drying. But you know, even if it does have a wrinkle or two, it's just fabric. Oh, all right, and we've got a few wrinkles here, and that's okay. It's still going to look beautiful. What is that? Okay, I see that. Okay, that is where the glue has pulled the paper off. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to take our inky, and we're going to fill that in. Chances are it won't be seen anyway. But oh, the beauty of junk journaling. Da, it's all good. Okay, so let that dry before you try to fold it up like I did, so you don't have that problem with your glue. Okay, so now, now we need to think about our cover. Okay, so let's see. Oh, okay. Um, what I did here is I made a little window. It's dusty now. But uh, what this was, this was part of a greeting card. And I cut it all apart. And it had very thin foam core in it. Very thin. So I uh, cut it down to size. So I could fit it on there. Which looks very nice just like that and then I covered it with washi tape that's what you see here and then I covered the back I, I taped washi taped a piece of acetate to the back because this is going to be like a little picture window okay and uh, taped acetate to the back and then I put the washi tape down and then Made sure that everything was sticking good. Now I got the glitter on the back. Think about acetate. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're only going to glue three sides. We're going to make it like a giant pocket because I made a card here. What we're going to do is we're going to slip this inside there like that. I'm going to have this little bit hanging out so that the mom to be, uh, knows that this will come out and she might want to put in a picture of her little baby in there. So we're going to give it to her like that so she'll know that, yeah, something's supposed to go in there. Ta -da. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our fabric tack and we're going to attach this to the front. Okay, again, we we'll to make sure we don't do it upside down. Okay, are you going to be nice for us? Our glue bottle's been kind of naughty. I didn't have it on its side, so it's going to take a minute to get all the way down to where we need it. There again, you know, keep your glue bottles to the side and keep your caps on. Where's my cap? And my glue bottle. Oh, here you are. Okay, That's always helpful. Okay, so now I've got this is this way. 
because I wanted these lines to go up and down. I didn't like them going sideways, although because it is a square, it could go either way. It can even go that way, but unfortunately, which would have been really cool, it's too big. So up and down it goes. And we're going to make sure that we have three on the bottom. And I would definitely suggest fabric tack for this. We don't want big gobs of glue, but we want sufficient glue. Okay. Oh, a little glue stringies out of there. Make sure. Okay, and let's see, should we do it right about in the middle? Should we do a little farther down? Hmm. I'm thinking a little farther down, like so. Okay. Made the commitment. You're on there now, Buki. Okay. Got all the glue off of me. Okay. Ah, oh, dry, 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 dry. Now, this looks a little plain, so I'm thinking. Lace. No, being a big girl and all. Let's see what I got. Ooh, I got this little bit. And I got some lace. So let's see. This fit? What do you think? Oh, this fits. <laughs> I would say it does fit. I'm thinking covering up that washi tape there looks pretty good. Okay, so let's let's do that. Okay, again. Do it with a fabric tack. Beautiful job. Find out which way is up. Looks good. Doesn't really matter. Kind of looks good on both sides. And I'm going to try to keep it even with that washi tape. So a little bit of the washi tape color show through but not a whole lot. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so let's continue that all around. Let's see what we want here. Snip, snip, snip. Right out there, I'm thinking. Draw. The fabric glue again, fabric tack. To be on the side so it's, it'll stay down to the nib where we need it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's working. Okay, I'm liking that. Okay, let's do it again. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> I can't like it. They find something fun. Do it again. the right spot and I did good. Okay. And back up up. Now we actually want it this side. And if you ever did crocheting you know that there's a front side and a back side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm liking it. Okay. And we're going to do it down here as well. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. And we're almost done. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to measure. Okay, so. <coughs> we're going to do a clippage go. Um, yeah, that looks very cute. A little girly thing. I'm liking that. Ta -da. Yeah, okay, so needs a little something something. And I just happened to find this. This is like 
ancient, oh my gosh, I don't even know where this came from, but I found it in my stash. And I'm thinking, at first I was thinking, oh, I'll just run it along like there. It's like, no, that don't look right. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it there. And I'm going to put one in a corner, one in each corner. Let me try that. I think that's going to work. Be probably good. Hello. Let's try that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to do another one through here. Notice that I'm putting the green leaves in a diagonal so that they will point to the centerpiece, which is going to be, hopefully, the little baby picture. Okay, and let's go again. That does look doggone cute. Okay, this is just get another one. This is our last one. Okay. We are not. We are going to be done with this project now. I'm going to let this all dry before we do anything else. Okay. All right, and there it is. Ta-da! Isn't that cute? Let's see if it's functional yet. I did make this little card here. It's like a little journaling card. Mom can write down baby information or whatever she wants to write down. She can even glue the picture right onto here. Let me see if it slides in. Uh, I got a little bit of divot something there. Wait. What is that? Oh, more glue. Yike. Oh, look at that. Ooh, I'm excited, I'm excited. That looks perfect. That is beautiful. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Now, we could even put something up there. And uh, I'm not going to worry about it right now. But gosh, look at that. It's, oh, I'm afraid to move it. We'll see. Look at that. Isn't that going to be just darling? Cute, cute little baby journal. Little baby girl journal. All right, so... If you like this video, please push the like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe because we got a lot more on this little puppy that we're going to work with. And uh, please leave any questions or comments down below. That would be fine. I'd be glad to answer any questions you have. And thank you for coming by Sandy's Odds and Bobs. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.